I will be spray painting my other set of candle so, candles. Yeah, I'm basically outside today. It's a beautiful day. You guys can actually see what I'm doing. So I got my paint here. This is what I purchased at Home Depot. And this is just some um some wood, metal, plastic, and more gloss. And it's in that dark color right there that you see. And it also has primer in it. So I'm going to spray paint those two candle holders. We're going to spray paint the whole entire candle I'm going to let you guys holder. see me doing that. And then after that, I'm also, I also have a couple of more of those, um, the bottom part of the candles, the orange part that you guys see down there. I also have like four more of those to spray paint, but I have to go back to Home Depot and pick up the right size. So yeah, but as of now, I'm just going to show you guys that I'm, about to start spray painting the candle holders and then actually going to show you guys how to make the other canisters. you guys so now I'm about to spray paint the bottom part of a pots holder and you can purchase those little things at Home Depot they're 77 cents and I just got four of them because those are gonna be the top lids to my candle holders so yeah I'm just gonna quickly spray paint these really quick and then I'll be finishing up these candle holders for you guys so you guys stay tuned guys so today I'm here with another DIY and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about this um, candle holder vase that my mother created first off I'm gonna let you guys know where we got some of these items from okay this top here these little tops here came from Home Depot and we got six of them and we got to have six of them to okay, create so this these little um, cabinet knobs, these are cabinet knobs, y'all. I got these from Home Depot, and these were $3.98. So you guys can pick those up at any Home Depot, or you can pick them up at Lowe's as well. 
these vases here came from Dollar Tree. So any of the type of design vases that you guys want to use for these, you can use any type of vase that you like. Uh, my mom almost mentioned, she also mentioned that you can glue this down on your candle holder or you can just leave it like this if you want to. But we, she decided to just leave it like this because she could switch up on her vases and stuff if she want to change them or switch them up. Okay, this, um, the bottom part of this candle holder, which is this wooden part here, came from Michael's. So you guys can purchase these at Michael's, any Michael's, any, you know, you guys can go there and purchase them. Or Joann's. And you can also get any color spray paint you want, whatever kind of color that you want when you're uh, designing these right here. So I'm just going to put this back together so you guys can get a really good look at this and how it is. So this is what I'm about to create. So I'm just going to let you guys know right now that I choose, this is like a brick color brown that like a rustic brick color brown that I choose because you guys know what colors that I'm using in my kitchen already so I choose this color right here and I also got these knobs for my uh, candle holders because I wanted mine to be different and these also were three dollars and 98 cent I just have the um, black bottom to mine and my mom got the uh, silver bottom bottom to hers and they both were the same prices these glasses also came from Dollar Tree and just basically everything is the same, you guys. I'm just about to put these jokers together for y'all. So y'all can make these on y'all own, okay? So first off, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my, my smaller candle holder. I'm going to start with this one first. You guys also can use some E6000 glue. This is what the glue that I was using at first. I'm going to take some of this and I'm just going to put it around the rim of my candle holder here. And I'm going to sit one of these on top of here like this. So make sure that when you're doing this, y'all, that this is not, the top part is not slanted or crooked in any kind of way or these are going to be leaning over and you want them to be straight. So the best way to do this is how I'm going to do it is I'm just going to take mine and turn mine over here like this. And I'm going to place it in the middle like so. So it would be a better for me to center this so when I turn it back over it can be right in the center just like this and so I'm about to get started and yeah I'll have to probably fast forward so you guys can see what I'm doing I'm not doing a lot of talking so I'm just gonna go ahead and make these babies and I'll come back with the final results
right here. Very quick, easy DIY for you guys. You can sit these anywhere you want to. You can sit them in your kitchen or your dining room or however else y'all want to sit them. I'm sitting mine in my kitchen. Also, just a quick tip, you guys can put anything in these little things if y'all want to. Just for decoration. I'm just going to be experimenting things. Y'all know how I am. So, my mama got some stuff over here. We're just going to experiment something. And uh, we got some pine cones right here that we can just sit in here just to see how it'll look. sit in there you know you can just be creative and just sit you know stuff in here just to make it look a so you can cute. put a candle in here and you can stick the top on it just like this but you can put another candle in this one I'm also going to show you guys that you can also put candy in here as well just to be a little bit more creative Also store candy in these babies just like that let me straighten this up y'all just like that be creative or I have one more idea that you guys can also do so my mom got some vases over here she got these size vases right here you can sit these on top of here as well and you can just sit this top right on here like this but make sure that when you're getting these type of vases you have to make sure that the top fits around the vase so it can go in there perfectly like that so you can also do this as well all right y'all so that is it just wanted to come back and show you guys some quick ideas that you guys can do really quick just to be a little bit more creative all right that's it